Hi, kids. Uh, I'm going to be giving uh, my uh, favorites list from uh, the horror movies from the 1970s, but I have to uh, address one, th uh, maybe a couple of things about the contest. I think I forgot to say that video uh, entries will get three uh, uh, chances. Uh, written ones uh, one that's usually the standard so I go by that plus uh, there has been people expressing interest in interest in the contest I've checked and your uh, uh, subscription list is not visible and you do have to uh, uh, make it visible for uh, me to confirm your uh, uh, subscription to my channel uh, and uh, I mean I don't want you to waste your time if you uh, have an issue with that uh, but I have to stress I will I'll have to reject your uh, entry if I can't uh, visually uh, tell if you uh, actually are a subscriber okay uh, now to my list, uh, I'm not doing any order other than al alphabetical, uh, and the first three are actually, uh, TV movies, uh, one being a miniseries. Okay, uh, first one is Don't Be Afraid of, of the Dark. Uh, yeah, I don't have too much information, I'll just, to uh, say my thoughts, uh, I wasn't able to watch the entire thing the first time around, um, uh, and I asked my mother what happened, and she described it to me, and the first thing I thought was how did they shoot it, you know, and put it together to make it look feasible and when I eventually did see it a few years later uh, I was pleasantly surprised that they actually pulled that off but yeah this movie shouldn't be uh, <laughs> it shouldn't have worked but I think it's based on the time it was done uh, there was a feeling of uh, Horror movies don't have to be explained. What the hell is going on is actually makes the uh, uh, audience off, off tilter, you know. And uh, that's why I, I, I like when uh, things aren't explained. Sometimes I do, I'm sure, but uh, a lot of people end up saying that, well, this doesn't make any sense. Or whatever, but it, you know that's part of uh, the manipulation uh, that film like years use, and that this was very popular at the time. Plus, uh, just the way it was shot, uh, maybe even the budget of a TV movie, uh, limiting things but making things to be, uh, you know, uh, more eerie. Uh, the next one is. <laughs> A uh, little bit of a shot in the arm. Uh, my main, I like the. Uh, a lot of these movies were uh, shipped to uh, Europe uh, as theatrical movies, and uh, so in a way, I'm cheating. I guess uh, I like the theatrical version. There's a scene when Dennis Weaver is up at, at a train and the truck that's uh, harassing him. Uh, tries to push him into the uh, into the train. And uh, that's not in uh, the TV version. 
uh, and it's probably my favorite thing. But uh, yeah, uh, remember the I saw the whole thing the first time it aired, and uh, it really got to me that we never see the uh, truck driver, uh, and there really is no clear explanation on. I mean, there's a bit of a road rage thing going on, but this is a little bit goes farther than that. You know, this is cat and mouse and everything. Uh, next one is the, probably one of the more stranger ones, uh, even after Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, and that's Frankenstein, The True Story. This is a mini series, I think a two parter. Uh, I already knew, you know, Frankenstein from the Universal uh, movies, and I might have caught a Hammer movie or two by then, but uh, I was confused by the title, uh, A True Story. <laughs> I asked my mother, is this, is this true? And she said, no. <laughs> and, yeah, I still don't really uh, know it, <laughs> know why, but. Uh, yeah, this is a strange one. The uh, creature doesn't come out uh, looking, you know, like a, a corpse, you know, reanimated, uh, like uh, Boris Karloff did in the, the first uh, Frankenstein, uh, where he's underweight and, and the makeup is a little bit better, in my opinion, uh, and, which makes him look like he's you know, corpse walking around, uh, but, you know, a Peter Saracen, an actor, uh, not sure what else he did other than, uh, one other movie, oh, he was in, uh, for Pete's sake, but, uh, uh, they shoot horses, don't they, uh, but I mostly remember him from this, and, uh, yeah, eventually he starts degrading, uh, and that's, when all sorts of wacky stuff happens. Uh, next one, we go to theatrical. This is actually a more recent find. Uh, so, uh, you know, this is not childhood uh, stuff right now. With this, with this uh, entry, British horror movie, uh, Peter Cushing and uh, Christopher Lee, Telly Savalas is also in it. Uh, horror Express. a science fiction uh, story uh, done in uh, you know kind of a monster run amok type of thing but he he also sort of possesses you know other people on the train that uh, that's the reference for Express <laughs> uh, and the next one I saw on TV knew it was a theatrical movie uh Let's scare Jessica to death. Um, thought it was a ghost story when I was a kid. Revisit it uh, when I was older. Realized it was a vampire story. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it, I just like the mood of it. Th this goes along with a, kind of a theatrical, theatrical, uh, style that's similar to, uh, like, don't be uh, afraid of the dark, uh, uh, part of the eeriness comes from how they shot it, uh, the grade of film, uh, the types of music that they would use back then, cutting style the way they uh, re recorded sound. Uh, next one, uh, yeah, it, well, since he was still making movies in uh, the 70s, I have to 
do a nod toward uh, Mario Bava, uh, Lisa and the Devil. This is. Uh, Well, within the last 20 years, I'd say, is the first time I've seen it. Apparently, there's a version called The House of Exorcism. I did own both movies, only uh, saw, watched uh, Lisa and the Devil, so I didn't, uh, I haven't watched that version. But yeah, Lisa and the Devil, uh, I'm just going to leave it there. It, it, it's a fun movie. It's not my favorite Bava, but it, I enjoyed it enjoyed the hell out of it. Uh, my favorite George Romero movie is Martin. Uh, it, you know, the more you watch and the more you, you wonder I, I tend to side on Martin being a vampire, but there's still a very strong uh, push. Uh, is he a serial killer who thinks he's a vampire? Uh, and not the Richard Ramirez uh, scumbag, but the vampire that stalks Las Vegas in The Night Stalker. Carl Koshak, uh, kind of a slash between a reporter and a gumshoe, is after the offending vampire. Uh, another theatrical movie, uh, one, of, one of my favorite movies, period, uh, the other... Kind of like a play on the uh, uh, evil twin uh, concept. Uh, uh, in this case, the evil twin is uh, is dead. His twin brother can't accept it, and he becomes his dead brother every once in a while. So, who really is the evil twin? <laughs> Uh, I, well, 1979, it was probably the uh, first year I ever saw a video on tape. It was a Betamax, my brother ended up getting it. Uh, he tends to jump on technology. I think he's slowed down uh, in uh, more recent years. Uh, but uh, yeah, he, he was visiting from Lansing and brought down his Betamax and uh, he ran it, uh, Zombie, Lucy of Fulcher. Also known as Zombie 2 and Zombie, uh, uh, flesh Eaters, I think. Uh, yeah, Zombie, uh, it was a terrible transfer. Uh, the dark scenes were way too dark. Uh, I didn't, uh, maybe like two years later, I saw it uh, on a double bill. It was the uh, second feature. Uh, that, that was also true for uh, Dawn of the Dead. I saw that on a second feature. Uh, but Zombie, yeah, I really, really enjoyed Zombie. It was yeah, very very gross and uh very italian <laughs> and uh yeah it it, it, it fulci did 
kind of these set pieces that are iconic, and I knew they were going to be iconic when I saw them. Uh, uh, you end up having, you know, the shark uh, scene. Uh, and that, uh, you know, the splinter in the eye scene, which is every what everybody talked about back then. Uh, but, uh, well, I'm, I gotta go to a movie. You wanted to see that, uh, I think it's called Green Knight. Uh, we'll see what that's about. I really don't know too much about it, but uh, it's a movie and I want to go see a movie. Uh, 70 hours last week was tough. But, uh, as usual, uh, until next time, stay safe, and always have a good time. Thank you.